Swedish jokes at sports camp started a few years ago as part of challenge night. Coach Fred and I would tell fish jokes during the meals at the beginning of camp week, but we didn't tell anybody why we were doing that. On challenge night, while a few people were doing the challenge, the rest of the team would get extra points if they could name all the different fish mentioned in our fish jokes. And that was going to be the end of it. But that wasn't the end of it. The rest of the week, people asked for more fish jokes, except for those who asked for no more fish jokes, but they were in a minority. So we had a surprise joke or two at each meal of camp each year. And wherever we go, it seems as if someone asked for a fish joke. We, we are especially, especially honored. Uh, <laughs> when I say one, then we'll say it. Okay. Three, two, one. We are especially honored to bring, bring this joke, this joke to virtual sports camp. <laughs> Two, one. We are especially honored to bring this joke to virtual sports, sports camp. camp. That was perfect. joke for you. Good, what is it? Why do fish swim in schools? I don't know, Fred. Why do they swim in schools? Because they can't walk. <laughs> hey, Fred, I have another fish joke for you. Oh, okay. What fish is the most famous? I don't know, Alice. Which fish is the most famous? The starfish. <laughs> yeah. How do you communicate with a fish? I don't know. Drop them a line. Drop them a line. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got one more for you. Okay. What's the difference between a fish and a piano? A fish and a piano? Yep. I don't know. Well, Fred, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Get it? Ah. Tune a fish. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the floor hockey segment of Virtual Sports Camp 2020. My name is Alex, I'm going to be your floor hockey clinician. I know this has been a tough year and we all miss being together at sports camp, but we're going to have fun at our houses, staying safe and healthy. So for floor hockey, not all of us have, you know, a floor hockey field that we can go to, but what I've been using as a puck is just a roll of duct tape. Uh, any sort of tape that you have or anything really that's just spherical with a hole in the center, go ahead and use it. Uh, and for our sticks, I've been using a broom. Uh, so I took the head off of mine, uh, but like this one, it doesn't come off. You can just hold it upside down and that will be perfect. Um, for our goal, if you can see behind me, I had a cardboard box that I just had lying around and I decided to set it up and I can use that to shoot on for my goal. If you guys have something like this to set up, perfect. If not, don't worry about it. We're gonna make do as we can this year. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some drills together. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly hold your stick. Uh, so let me get a bit closer for you guys. What you wanna do is pretend like you're holding a baseball bat. You're gonna take your dominant hand and hold it over your other hand, like you're about to swing, right? And then when you transfer that to the stick, you're gonna hold it down, and you're gonna have your right hand, for me, might be your left hand, further down, 
and your left hand is going to be holding the top of the stick and it's going to be guiding you. So it's going to look just like this. All right. And I suggest if you guys don't have, uh, if you guys are trying to do this on a carpeted floor, uh, maybe put down some more of that cardboard that you're using for your goal so that way your puck can slide more easily. Uh, so now that we know how to hold the stick, I'm going to teach you guys how to manage the puck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this puck and we're going to drop it on the floor here. Can you guys see that? Yes. All right. So you're going to take your stick, holding it with the right below, left on top, just like we went over. And you're going to go ahead and take it and press this top of the stick right into the hole of the puck. So that way you can slide it around like this and you have full control over it. Great, so now we're gonna be working on stick handling. So that's gonna be how you maneuver the stick around and shooting the hole. So, for going over passing, what you wanna do is, it's fitting that we're using a broomstick because you're gonna be using a sweeping motion just like this to shoot and pass. So, you've got your puck down next to you. What you wanna do is you wanna slide it back and shoot on it. We're gonna keep on practicing that, all right? We're gonna take the puck, we're gonna slide it back and shoot it on it. But you wanna get really good at walking around with it coming forward. Going back, sliding it back, and shooting on it. So we're gonna keep on working like that. So I'm gonna have you guys do it a few more times, and we'll reconvene in just a bit, all right? Okay, so while we're working on shooting, what I want you to do is try and find as many rolls of tape as you can find. Uh, so this is the one I've been using. Found some masking tape, some painter's tape, some duct tape. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use these as multiple pucks. What I wanna do is I wanna set a perimeter around my goal. And we're going to use this as target practice. Uh, so for those of you who've been at camp, uh, we do this on challenge night. Uh, these are one of our things that we'll do. Uh, one of the skills to work on shooting on the goal. Uh, if you don't have big ones like that, small ones like this, like, you know, just normal tape or electrical tape will work just fine. It might be a bit harder, but that adds to the challenge, right? So what I want us to be doing is practicing our accuracy and our shooting. So, I'm gonna start, corner, I'm gonna swing back and shoot. I'm gonna swing back and shoot at the next one, at the next one, and this last one, shoot on it, okay? I want all of you guys to practice this, and if you can't find any more rolls of tape, do not worry. You can just set it up one roll at a time and then just try it from different locations, okay? So I want you guys to set it up kind of just around your goal. I'm gonna fix this here. And we're gonna shoot on in from different spots, okay? This, again, is working on your accuracy and your shooting skills. So I'm gonna shoot from here. I'm gonna shoot from here. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna spin around. I'm gonna shoot from there. I'm gonna take this one and shoot. Okay? So, we can keep on doing this to work on our accuracy, and I want you guys to let me know how many you guys got into the goal, all right? Okay, 
just remember it. Use that sweeping motion whenever you are shooting. So, again, one, two, three, Keep on setting these up. Hope you guys are enjoying floor hockey so far. It is one of my favorite sports. And I look forward to it every summer at sports camp. So, we're gonna keep on doing this. You're gonna go. One, two, three, and four. Nice. All right guys, so now that we've been working on our stick handling and shooting, we're gonna work on passing with a partner. So if you've got somebody who's been quarantining with you, uh, we're gonna work on passing to each other. So to help me out, I have my mother here with me uh, and we're gonna be passing to each other. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be working on that sliding motion that we were doing before and I'm gonna toss it right to my mom's feet. When I pass it to her, she's gonna stop it with her foot or with her stick, and then she's gonna slide it back and pass it back to me. And so we're gonna work on that a few times, I want you guys to do it with me, all right? So I'm gonna slide back like this, and I'm gonna pass it. Yep, just like that. Now take it, and launch it. Yep, just like that, perfect. See how I caught it with my foot? We're gonna do that. So we're gonna work on this, and I want you guys to be working on it along with us, so I'm gonna pull back, and I'm gonna let it slide. Stop it. Uh-huh. You're gonna take it, and you're gonna pass it to me. Yep, so I'm gonna aim on passing it right to her stick. So I'm gonna try and get it right there. She's gonna stop it with her stick, she's gonna pass it right back to me. And we're gonna keep on doing this, back and forth, until we feel really comfortable with the stick handling motions. And once you feel good with passing and shooting on the goal, all that's next is defense. So keep on working on that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do defense in a bit. So to work on stick handling, I've set up some cones for us that we're gonna weave in and out of, and I am using everyday items that we have around the house, and so, <laughs> I'm using Lysol spray and Clorox wipes uh, because we want to try and be using these as much as possible to stay clean. And we're going to be weaving in and out of them. So I'm going to take my puck and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to weave through and shoot. So we're going to work on that. We're gonna keep on doing that. If you guys have anything, anything, anything at all that you can put in front of you, uh, it does not need to be Clorox, uh, you know, a box, a shoe, uh, anything um, that you can put in front of you just as a marker to weave in and out of. Um, so, we're gonna keep practicing like this so that way we can work on our stick handling, okay? So, go ahead and practice this with me. On your mark, get set, go! And shoot on the goal. We're gonna keep on doing that. And I want you guys to run this at least five times, okay? So that was our first one. We're gonna do it a second time. I'm gonna mix it up a bit. Okay, go this way. Can y'all see? Cool. All right. So we're gonna go and shoot on the goal. We're gonna keep on doing that, all right? Just get that stick handling in check, all right? Weaving in and out, in and out, in and out. If you have buddies with you that you're quarantining with, you guys can take turns going through the cones. All right, let's go. together. Okay, ready and go. And 
if you guys have more space than me, feel free to spread out your goal. Um, so that way it is a little further back. Um, if you're tight on space, don't worry. You can make this shorter, longer, however long you guys like. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna work on a little bit of defense and offense. So I'm gonna be on the offense and my mom here is gonna be on the defense. So I'm gonna be trying to shoot into the goal. My mom's gonna be trying to stop me. So I'm gonna show you guys how I can get around her. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to gain possession of the puck when you're playing defense. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and aim for the goal and my mom is blocking me. So I'm gonna try and come and run up. And so if I'm doing this, she can easily come and take the puck from me, right? So what I want to do is I want to keep my back to her at all times, right? So if I'm running up, I'm running up, I'm running up, when she comes, I'm going to try and block her out and see how she can't get to me because I'm blocking her out. I'm going to come back, spin around her, and I'm going to shoot into the goal. <laughs> so we're going to do that one more time so you guys can see it in action, and then we're going to practice that, all right? So, I'm going, I'm going, I'm dribbling. I'm gonna spin around her. And I'm gonna shoot into the goal. You wanna get really comfortable with that blocking motion. You wanna keep your back to them so that way you can keep the puck close to you. So we're gonna do that one last time and then we're gonna switch positions, okay? Oh, really? So we're gonna go, I'm gonna spin around, and I'm gonna shoot in, okay? So now my mom's gonna be on the offense and I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to gain possession of the puck. So I'm gonna come up at her. She's doing her spinning, that's good, right? I'm trying to get in and I can't. Yay! <laughs> and she got in. So now, if I wanna gain possession of the puck, go ahead and put your stick in there. What I want to do is I want to take my stick and I want to try and knock hers up. See how the puck went flying? That is called stick checking. So go ahead and put it in there. See, if I'm going in, if I'm coming up from behind her, I can take it and I can gain possession of the puck. So, we're going to be working on that if you have your buddy with you. It's a simple just under and up. But we need to be careful because if I go over, that's called slashing and that's a penalty and we don't want to be doing that. And also, if I hit the top of the stick, I can't get the puck. I can uh, get it. Ooh. Yes. So, we're going to be working on that. So, Mama, go ahead and try it and stick check me. This way. Yes. And then you can take possession. Yep, just like that. Yeah. All right, one more time. And then go ahead and grab it, yep. And I suggest when you take possession, spin the other direction so that way I can't stop you again. All right, so I have possession. You're gonna take it from me. You're gonna take the puck. You're gonna spin around and you're gonna shoot it. Yep, just like that. What you can also do is, here, you take it. Yep. If I take possession of it, and I can't get my stick in right away, I can just kick it to the side like that, and then take possession later. What you really want to do is just have control over the puck at all times. So you can use your feet to kind of guide it around, but you ultimately want to be using your stick to your advantage. All right? So that's all we got for floor hockey. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun coaching you guys virtually, but still, I know that you guys are gonna have so much fun doing it at home. And I wanna see all your pictures and videos uh, of you guys doing floor hockey at home. Uh, please send them to us, that's gonna make me feel so happy to see you guys again. Um, once again, I know it's tough that we're not at camp. Uh, I'm missing it, I'm sure you guys are missing it. Uh, but don't worry, there's always next year. Uh, we're gonna get through this and I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you again for being with me today and enjoy the rest of Virtual Sports Camp. Hey guys, it's Christian coming to you from San Diego, California. 
and I'm excited to do some cool down stretches and exercises with you. So let's get right into it. First thing we'll do is just kind of roll the shoulders out, going forward. Nice, and we'll come back the opposite direction, going backwards. All right, we're gonna get a head stretch in here, nice along the neck, so grab one side of your neck and pull down the other way, hold that for 10 seconds. Very nice, and we're gonna come and get the other side too, even it all out. Nice deep breaths into this to make sure you're getting the full, full stretch. All right, let's get the arms moving too, okay? Let's stretch those shoulders out, come across the body, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very nice, let's come across the other way for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Okay, let's get those forearms stretched out now. Go ahead and reach in front of you. One hand over the other. Pull those fingers back. Get a forearm stretch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and switch hands. Pull those back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and shake that out. Very nice, okay. Now we're gonna reach up to the sky. Go as high as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then slowly reach all the way down. Make sure those knees are locked up and you're getting the stretch in the back of the leg. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. And come all the way back up and reach towards the sky. Grab a cloud or two up there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And all the way back down to the ground. See if you can touch your hands to the ground for ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, spread those legs out a little bit and we're gonna reach to each side. Hold that for 10 seconds, okay? Take a side and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And switch sides, get that stretch. Really reach for 10, nine, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, nicely done. Okay, last one here. We're gonna reach to each side. Take one arm and reach all the way over and get a stretch right along your side of your core. We're gonna get a stretch here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and reach all the way over to the other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nicely done, everybody. Make sure to drink lots of water while you're doing all of these exercises and all your sports. All the best to you for the rest of this virtual sports camp. Miss you all and enjoy this time. Thank you